Long time no see. I haven't made any updates in a long time. I haven't really been big in the YouTube thing recently. It's just been kind of, I haven't had the motivation for it. Um, well, uh, first things first. This is the K24 EM2. Um, we got some big things in store. Um, I am going to be, I guess the first big news is I'm teaming up with uh, Magnum Powers to make possibly the first remote mounted supercharged K-Series EM2. Don't quote me on it, but that's what I'm hoping. I think it, you know? So um, this is gonna be something completely new, completely different. Uh, we, it's got, I mean, it, there's been similar setups on other K-Series, EGs, EKs, you know, other similar setups. Um, I don't even think I've seen it on an RSX. This is gonna be very interesting. Uh, we reached out, I reached out to them and telling them I was interested in using their products and I was interested in, uh, in going supercharged. You know, that was, that was my plan. I wanted to go supercharged instead of turbo. It's something different, not really done around in my area up here in the Pacific Northwest. I've never seen a supercharged K-Series in person, um, let alone I've never seen another K-Series swapped EM2 in person either. So uh, I'm mixing the two and I'm trying to make my already fairly unique EM2 into something completely different and unseen. So, a uh, little bit about me. Um, 20 years old, based out of Washington. Like, not much going on. Uh, I've just been trying to build the Ultimate Civic as my dream car. Um, nothing, try to keep it kind of simple, clean. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing. It still has its imperfections, but it's been my learning experience. I got it at 18 make it into a full-on track car and I had a case watch within three months and I slowly just went up from there went the five lug RS, so the RSX type S um, with upgraded brake lines slotted drilled rotors carbon ceramic pads I've overhauled complete suspension from team coilovers I did my RSX dash and suite and now I have RSX door panels so that is something new something different I am now all motor K24A2, putting about 240 to the wheels with a uh, EP3 five speed trans and XZD Pro Kit clutch. So, very basic setup. Sorry, fairly basic setup, fairly, I mean, nothing completely new about that, but I have it in the Neo 2. Um, now, with this kit, the goal is, is this is a prototype kit. We're gonna make it um, something new that we can resell and mass produce. Because of how I set up my engine bay, I cut the chassis mounts of an RSX and welded them into my Civic. So instead of using conversion mounts, I believe it makes your engine bay stronger. Um, I could have this motor out in just under an hour. Uh, it just makes it more convenient than using the conversion mounts. Um, and I was being cheap at the time. I was 18 trying to take shortcuts. Um, at first I regretted it, but now I'm looking back, um, I actually do like it, prefer it over the conversion mounts, but that's me. Um, I don't recommend it, um, to new people. So, but that's what I did and it will make my engine bay identical to an EP3 or, a, or RSX. So that means that when this kit will be available for case swapped EM2s, EP3s, RSXs, and other K-Series builds. So I don't know if it's gonna be completely universal. This is gonna be different. Um, this is all new to me. I am learning as I go. This is what this is about, is a learning experience, something new, something unique. Um, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this supercharger and mount it where the AC compressor used to go using you know, different special brackets. We're gonna to have to route. Um, so we can try and keep my Skunk 2 intake manifold and to keep my motor the same and we're going to run it off the main serpentine belt. Very similar to the Craftworks uh, Rotrex supercharger kit. Um, their centrifugal supercharger, same mounting place, same concept. But we're going to be using a uh, Magnum Powers um, scroll style, um, root style, my bad, root style supercharger. And we're going to be running it into an intercooler to the intake. There's gonna be a few things I still have to get. I have to get bigger injectors. I have fuel pump. I gotta get a regulator. Um, I gotta get a bigger throttle body. 
I don't know if I, I'm going to be able to use the RSX radiator. We don't know how big or how much space it's going to take up for my Civic. So there's a few things that we I don't know about and there's things we're going to go about. So this is my main update video. This is kind of like to give everyone an idea of what we're doing. I have, um, it already runs a 13 six quarter mile as is. So I'm not terrible, but for an EM2, it's not terrible. So uh, what I'm gonna have, I have our triple eight R's that I'm gonna slap on so we can tune in and mess with it. Um, this is definitely gonna be fun. I gotta take it down to Oregon over the next few weeks so we can work on it. Um, I still have to provide a lot of parts, but we're gonna be partnering, partnering up to make this a possibility. Um, this is definitely a dream come true for me. I just started with a, I started in the seventh generation community with a Honda Civic I got for free and I put a D7, uh, swapped it a new D D17 and it just, it was on like coil sleeves and it was like, that's where I started. So um, to see that I'm at this point is mind blowing. Um, I can't wait to see where this build goes. I'm hoping to be all wheel drive swap by the end of 2024 as well. So that gives me possibly 400 to 450 horse supercharged horsepower. So I have the instant power, instant torque on all wheel drive in a LX EM2. So fairly light chassis, it's lighter than the RSX barely. Um, so that I'm incredibly excited to see where this goes. I can't wait to keep you guys updated. I will try to make it videos as I go, um, give you guys just little updates. I, I don't know how this is exactly gonna go, but this is something I really want to help build my channel with because I feel like I got, I got the tools. So I think it's time to utilize that and try to make stuff like this more well known. Now, there's a lot of stuff I've done to this car that I wish I would have made videos for um, and I, I kind of regret not doing, but time to start doing it. So um, please let me know what you guys think. Any info, any, um, if you guys have any kind of contacts with someone who's done similar, uh, like any advice, I'm open for it. Uh, I'm very open-minded to new stuff like this. So please, I am not afraid for criticism. I love how, how stuff gets better. So uh, please let me know what you guys think. Um, I can't wait to uh, go about this. So uh, I'm gonna give you a quick um, overview of the car and show you what's done to it already and kind of show you what we're, we're working with. So first and foremost, we're gonna start off with the um, motor, I mean, all motor, K24A2, RSX, I mean, the Skunk 2 intake manifold. Um, my sticker fell off at the Pacific Raceways, but RBC cam gear, Type S oil pump. They got this out of a they got the motor itself for 100 bucks out of a wrecking yard um, with like 160,000 miles. I've had it over a year, and it's been beaten on and abused like crazy. Just I mean RSX, um, like you see here is the mounts. These are at the, um, this side's out of a an automatic. So that is a conversion mount for an automatic to manual RSX, if that makes sense. So this is lower low profile, gives me more room. This is out of an RSX, gives me more room. And really simple setup, no AC, um, power, I deleted hydraulic power steering and I went with electronic power steering out of a Honda Civic Si. Um, RSX radiator for now, depends on how much room we have and how much I have room that that supercharger is going to take up. I think I'm going to eliminate this catch can for now. Um, this one's pretty bulky. I want something more low profile that I can tuck up in a corner. Um, try to gain more room with that. So, and yes, this is a 2001 Honda Civic. Um, it is swapped with a 04 front end and a 05 rear bumper. So it's, I kept the, oh, the 01 tail lights because I like those over the 04 to 05s. Um, I am running a three inch exhaust with a PLM long tube header, vibrant, ultra quiet resonator. So it sounds pretty good. Um, car's been sitting for a while, so the brake's a little rusty, but yeah, RSX type S five lug. Um, Russell still brake, brake lines. Um, no ABS. Um, 
Um, it's dirty, it's washed, but yeah, here's a little preview of the interior. RSX door panels, RSX confetti seats, full interior. There's an RSX dash. Uh, since my last video, you guys probably can see on the channel, I have really updated this interior. I've cleaned up a lot. Uh, Acuity short shifter. I have the RSX Type S cluster now. I don't remember if I did in the previous video. But I also redid some of the heater wiring. So I got more functions to work. I cleaned it up a lot. This thing, I, I drive it a lot, still even. But yeah, let's kind of the basics with it uh, let's see since it was a 01 LX it didn't come with a rear sway bar so I had to modify and insert my own rear sway bar from an RSX the true heart rear suspension and in the front I'm running a Honda element front sway bar to help clear my header down below you can see it's it's a thick sway bar Uh, let's see. Yeah, just cheap. Um, what are what nine six nine wheels? Um, just reps. They were cheap on hand cooked Ventus V2s. They they do the job. I've been pretty impressed with them on dry pavement. And that's kind of a good overall look at this car. I'm running Honda V2 or K Pro V2. It's, it's fairly basic, fairly straightforward. I, I've been trying real hard not to go overboard with it because I just want to keep it simple, clean. I'm gonna start peeling some of the stickers off even just to keep a sleeper look. It's kind of beat. Um, I bought the shell for 350 bucks in December of 2020 and just went crazy with it. So I'm about 14k into it now, which isn't bad at all. It's I've been when I first built this, started building this car, I got a lot of backlash over it, telling me that this chassis wasn't worth building. Honestly, they were right, but I have learned so much from this car, and it's so different compared to what everyone else here uh, runs, because I up here in Washington, everyone runs. Um, a lot of B-series, H-series, EKs, and EGs. It's kind of the little bit more older school Honda stuff. So um, I've kind of, I jumped straight from D-17s to K-series, and I've just been taking everything head on, trying to build the craziest Civic I can. And well, I've been, I think I've been doing okay. Um, it's definitely a lot that needs changed and fixed. And because, but what can I say? This is just after, I've had it just over two years now. So, not bad. Still like leaky windshields to, you know, still needs a lot. But I can't wait to share my progress with this. I can't wait to have a whine of a root style supercharger coming from this thing with looking as stock as it does. It will, it will definitely break necks and turn some heads. But yeah, I can't wait to take this thing down to Oregon and start making progress on this supercharger. This is going to be pretty fun, going to be pretty wild. Can't wait to keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to or like and subscribe so you guys can get updated and help the algorithm. Kind of help get this out there and help me in this journey. So thank you and Alexander out.